Hello, my name is Joachim and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how you can combine the Premiere Pro speech analysis with Lip Syncer. This workflow makes the most sense if your language is not supported by the internal Lip Syncer speech analysis engine. There are a bunch of languages that you can download from Adobe to work with Premiere, so I put a link to an Adobe help page in the description on how to download and install them. Unfortunately, this feature was discontinued and is only available to Premiere Pro version 7.2.2. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm using an, an English track. All right. So now all that you have to do is make a new project. This can be a dummy project. We don't care about the settings. And then you import your audio track. And then you just go right click, analyze content. And this will bring up the analyze content dialog. And right here, speech obviously has to be ticked. For language, you set the language that your audio track is in. It also says it here that you can download and install additional languages. I will put a link on how to do that in the description. For quality, I would recommend using high. And here's the most interesting part, the reference script. I would really recommend using a reference script because it makes it makes the analysis so much better. I choose add. This can be an Adobe story script or a plain text file. So in my case it's a text file. I would use a script that fits to 100% and if it does, you should absolutely take this checkbox here because then the speech analysis engine can focus on aligning the words instead of also having to analyze them. This will be both more accu accurate and of course faster. What will happen is Adobe Media Encoder will pop up and, and do the analysis and when it's done it will add it to the metadata of, of your file. And when it's finished I like to change the workspace to meta logging. I like the alignment of the panels better. And then down here under the speech analysis panel, you can see the text and the alignment that has been produced. You can also so stop play wasting it back time. and it will Start using lip -syncer. Visit aescripts.com slash lip -syncer. At the time that it thinks it was said. You can also by right clicking add and change words here. You head over to After Effects and open Lip Syncer. I have already imported this same audio track and if I make a comp out of it, you will see that the Premiere speech analysis also produced layer markers. I make a high quality template comp and head over to the analyze tab. And in the analyze tab we will do two things. Because the analysis is already done, we can untick this checkbox and we can also leave the whole text box blank. And that and that's what I'll do. Now I just hit analyze. And that way we skipped this whole process, but provided something for the script to be used in the third tab. So now, in the third tab, all I have to do is select the template comp and an analysis comp and hit animate. And there you have it. Here's, here's the animation. 
As always in manual mode, the script can only animate based on the letters. So I'll have to play it back and check if I like if I like the result. So stop wasting time. Start using LipSyncer. Visit aescripts.com slash lipsyncer. Yeah, there are some small details that I'm just quickly going to change. Time. This word. Here's a vice that I don't really need. Time. And this word is lipsyncer. overall too long. If I play it back again, lip stinker. Yeah, now it's fine. I hope this was useful to you and have fun with lip stinker. So stop wasting time. Start using lip stinker. Visit aescripts.com/lipstinker.